Hello guys, Alex Grampion here. I hope you're well. Today we've got Scirocco in and this the video has been requested a lot as well. Um, thanks to the Carmoid shop. As you already know, all the LED bulbs and everything else that I've been providing in my previous videos is from there. James is a brilliant guy. I've been talking to him a lot about this uh, future videos that we're going to have as well. And that is thanks to you guys, to your suggestions. And that's why I got this video today to start with. Uh, so you know I've got previous videos already on the LED upgrades and all the products so far working really well, no issues at all, no error codes, which is why I'm definitely going to continue working with James because he's a great guy as well. Uh, so I've spoken to him and I said, look, a lot of my subscribers ask me, is there a kit they can buy that will include all the bulbs for the interior lights? I uh, thought about it, I said, James, let's sort it out and let's create a little kit that's going to be a decent price as well so that you can just buy it and fit all the lights in one go. And I think that'll be a brilliant idea and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you what kit you need to buy, uh, what obviously bulbs you got in it, and it's nice and simple to fit, and I'm going to show you today, step by step, how to fit all of them in your car. Right, so the whole kit, what you're going to need is five of the 501 LED bulbs, as you can see there, and you're going to need three of 36 millimeter Festoon C5W bulbs, and one 44 millimeter as well, that's for the boot. On the boot, you also got an option of installing the whole unit that James is selling at Carmoid Shop as well. I'm going to put the link in the description below for that as well, in case your one is damaged or you want it slightly brighter than that one. But like I said, just a kit of five 501 bulbs, three 36 mil and one 44 mil that will do the whole job in your car. And I'm going to show you now how to do it all. Like I said, the other thing on this is if you look at the website, he also got different colors. I'm doing the white ones today, but you can get red, blue, pink, or whatever you want. Have a look at the website. Like I said, the links are all in the description below, and discount code is also going to be in there, and it works on all his products. So we're going to start in the boot today, and as you can see, you got the whole unit. Like I said, you can't fit the new unit in there, which is this one here or you can just replace the bulb that you got in there for the LED one. To get it out of there nice and easy, get your hand in there. And on the left side, there's a little clip that you need to squeeze in, and that will come out. Now, there isn't a lot of cable, unfortunately, so you have to be careful, and you will need to have one hand behind here, and maybe use a screwdriver to push the tabs in to disconnect it. But if you're just replacing the bulb, it's nice and easy. Just get it out of there enough, twist it in there a little bit, and all you need is the screwdriver to push one of the tabs in and the bulb will come out and there you go that's the 44 millimeters one so you just replace it for one of them you can see here so just push that back in there or in my case i'm going to replace the whole unit use this opportunity and swap it but like i said you need to squeeze both of the tabs in and as you can see, it goes back in there, uh, which is going to make this a bit difficult to connect the new unit in there. You need to get your fingers and hold the plug there, because like I said, you haven't got a lot of cable there. So just slide it in, try and get your finger behind. Now you can only go in one way, because you've got a little tab there. There you go, it's plugged in. Push it on there and job done. Right, this is the passenger side football light and they are a bit tight actually in there. So you can chip a little bit on this one, get your fingers behind the cover there. And it's on the left side that you got the clip. Don't try and push it down on the right side because you'll break the plug so please get your finger in there squeeze it in it's a plastic plug they are tight you can use a screwdriver to help a little bit as well there you go and that comes out as you can see you got little tabs like the glove box one you squeeze in to unplug it and next I'm going to show you what you have to do, this is going to be the same on the driver's side one. Um, you have to take the cover off. 
to replace the 501 bulb that you got in there. Right, so like I said, this will be the same as the driver's side one. Um, so all you have to do, you got little plastic locators there, so you have to pry that a little bit off on both sides. You'll hear a little pop as it comes off. Don't force it too much. You have to do it on both sides. There you go. And then you just have to slide it off. This side, I'm back on. There we are. It'll just slide up. As you can see, there's our 501 bulb. So, use a little screwdriver to push it out of there. It will be tight. There you go, slide it off. Now the challenge is to get the new one in. Uh, this is a bit wider. So, try and get in there as straight as you can. There you go, lovely. That's in there, push it in, it locks it in. All you have to do now is put the cover back on. Squeeze the tabs in so make sure it locates on there properly. So now back in the car, like I said, you got a little tab there so you can only connect it one way and get ready, this is gonna get bright. Lovely, there you go. So what you do now, don't forget, the cable was going that way. Just get it in there. Hope you can see it, because obviously it's quite bright. Lock it in, and job done. You got a nice white LED color there. Like I said, guys, there is a choice of different colors, so do have a look. But that's this side done, and the driver's side one is exactly the same. I'm gonna show you now. Now guys, the reason why I wanna film the driver's side one, I know it's the same as the passenger side one, but I know a lot of you had difficulties getting the unit out of there without taking the cover off. Uh, so I do apologize for my previous video not showing you how to do this um, in a different way. Uh, you can get it out with a screwdriver, but sometimes the plastic is too hard and you can snap it. So the best thing to do is get Torx 20 and just take a couple of screws out. So just one there and the other one that you got there. Right, so just get Torx 20 there, undo them. Uh, both of the screws are out, so all you have to do is just get your fingers behind the cover and they will come off. Once it's off, you got the bulb there, and you can see the little plastic tab they need to squeeze in. And you can disconnect it first to let the bulb cool down. So just unplug it first by squeezing two tabs that you had on the other one as well. And like I said, on the left side, you got a little plastic tab they need to squeeze in, and the bulb will come out. Right, so just to show you from a better angle. On the left side, push the plastic bit in, and out it goes, nice and easy, so you don't have to struggle with the screwdriver. Obviously, what you have to do now is get the cover off again, get the old one out of there, put the new one in, and just obviously slide it back in there, connect it, check that it's working, and job done. Guys, just to clear this, sometimes uh, you had an issue that you put new ones in and they don't work, and the reason for that is sometimes when you replace a lot of bulbs in the same time, the, the can system, the electrical system on the car gets confused, so sometimes you might have to disconnect your vehicle battery for five minutes, or you just have to cycle the ignition and it will fix the issue. So don't start getting worried in case it's not working straight away. Lovely. And that's all done. Obviously don't forget to put the screws back in. Right, for the glove box one, it's very similar to your footwell lights. You got the bulb there, little cut out on that side. Unfortunately on this one, unless you take the whole glove box out and a lot of stuff out of the way, you can get your fingers in there. Uh, so you can use a screwdriver and usually they're not too bad on here. So just use a screwdriver on this side, pry it in. You might have to struggle for a little bit, wiggling that around, but it will come out as I'm gonna show you now. Let me just position the camera a little bit better. So get it in there, there you go, and that's out, 
The plug is on the left side, so do make sure you pry it on the right side. And again, you got cable, squeeze them two together, unplug it, let it cool down for a little bit because the bulb will be hot. Slide the cover off, exactly the same as the footwell one, and replace the bolt with 501. And again, you can only connect it one way because you've got the tab at the top there. Plug it in, brilliant light, push it back in, locked in, and job done. Right, so now we're going to be doing the interior top lights, uh, two of them there. Uh, so for that, we're going to need obviously two 501 LED bulbs, and we're going to need to take this cover off that surrounds them. So we're going to need a little screwdriver to go in the gap there and pop it off. Just little plastic fitting, so please be careful, don't force it too much. So to make it easier, I would advise getting this cover off first. There you go, that's one off. And I just pry that one off. There you go, stay up. And that comes off of there. And as you can see, the 501s are located in there. So we need to get both of them out. Like I said, I would recommend leaving it off for a bit to make sure that the bulbs are not hot. And then just grab hold and then wiggle it a little bit and they will come out. Right, to get the new ones in, you can see they can only go one way. You've got little tabs there. So push it in. Same on this side. Now at this stage, you should be able to check if they're working. Bloody hell, they're definitely working. That is bright. And what I would say is when you put in the cover back on, if you look at the cover, um, you obviously got the holes where the bulb should go in. Just make sure you might have to move them slightly to make sure they're going to locate in there properly. It does look good, so it should be fine. There you go. Push the covers back on. Make sure it's nice and even. And all we have to do now is fit, obviously, the second cover back on there as well. Lovely, and let's just double check again. Look at that, that looks pretty cool. Now this is the part for both of your lights, for your mirror there. And this is where I had a mixed opinion of people saying, no, I don't really want LED there because it's too bright when I'm looking at the mirror. Uh, some people ask me how to do it. So it's in the kit, and like I said, it's easy to do. It's the first tune, and it will be the 36 millimeter C5W, one of them, and it's easy to do as well. Obviously, this one only works when you open the mirror. There you go, it comes on. So we're going to shut it to make sure it's cool. And what you have to do is get the screwdriver on the right side. There's a little cutout you can see there. Push it in, and you got a little tab there. They'll let it go. Wiggle it. It will come out. You can plug it again like we've done with the others. And as you can see, you got the first one there. Um, now guys, please be very careful with the connector there, with the cable, because it's very thin. So make sure you unplug it. It's nice and easy. Screwdriver will just push the thing out of the way. It will slide out. And then just fit the new one in there. Like I said, C5W. 36 millimeters make sure you obviously turn it so the led is actually facing the bit where you want it to face so again this one you plug in one way clip it in slide it back in there and job done there you go on the passenger side guys, exactly the same, just on the left side, there's a tab there, get a screwdriver in there, pry it in, unclip it, and exactly the same procedure, so I don't have to show you this one again, it's just exactly the same as you've done on the driver's side.
Right, and the last one is the rear seat one. Well, it might be the first one that you're doing, but anyway. Um, so again, C5W, festoon bulb. They're gonna to need to get in there, 36 millimeters. But this is probably the hardest one to get out of there because they usually are very tight in there. And there's literally no other way of doing it. You can't get behind it, so we'll have to use a screwdriver on this side, pry it off, and hopefully it will come out without any issues and without breaking anything. So let's give it a try now. Now I'm gonna try and explain this as best as I can because I can't get the camera in there. What you need to do is you need to get a screwdriver behind there, pull it off a little bit. If you can see, there's a metal frame around it as well, but you need to get between the metal frame, that clear frame, silver frame that you got, and the plastic cover. There's in the middle, you can literally just see it a little bit. There's a metal tab um, in the middle there to squeeze in. You have to push it in all the way. And that will open up. As you can see, you have to push it right in the middle there, push it all the way in, and it will come out, guys. Like I said, this is the hardest one. I've only done it uh, quickly because uh, I've done this before. But when I was doing one for the first time, it was a complete nightmare. So look, just push it right in there, squeeze it all the way in that little tab and it will come out. To get it off of there, just squeeze two tabs on the sides, disconnected. And now um, you're going to have this plastic cover that will come off. Just push it in, that will slide out. It's a lot easier when you've got two hands that you're using. And there you go, so that's the bulb that we're going to be replacing with that one. So got the old one out of there. To fit the new one in, you will have to get um, this bit in first on the right side and then slide it down. Obviously, we'll have to use two hands to get it in there. But yeah, just locate this one in the hole first and then slide uh, the left side down uh, and it will stay in place. There you go, as you can see, I got that one in, and just slit that one in a hole and just adjust it obviously so the LEDs are facing down. Put the cover back on and connect it again. So on this plug, you can only connect it one way as well. There's two tabs at the top. Slide it in. I would recommend using it first before you push it back in there. There you go, lovely and bright. Turn it off. Lock it in place, and again, awesome. So here we got the final results, all of them are done. Passenger side footwell, looking really good. Same on the driver's side. I know it's daytime, but as you can see, it's already a massive difference, looking very nice. Don't forget the um, footwell lights are adjustable. Through your dashboard there, you got the settings. Then you got the glove box one, nice and bright. Same on the center console ones, look at that. Nice and sharp, actually look well cool. And then you got the passenger side and driver side, obviously mirror ones, looking very nice. The rear seat one, nice and bright in the evening, that's gonna be really bright. And you obviously got another one in the boot as I fitted the whole new unit. That's gonna be really bright in there as well. So yeah guys, don't forget you can get different colors of all of them. So do have a look at the options. Discount code is in the description below. Also the link for the whole kit of all the bulbs is in there. And also if you want to buy just one individual one, it's also in there. So have a look. And the discount code will work on the website, a car mode shop on all the items. I'm also going to be doing a video soon on the headlight upgrades, the fog lights, and also the rear light units as well. So stay tuned for that from the same shop so here we are all the lights are done now i hope you enjoyed the video find it helpful just to let you know obviously the only tools you're going to need is a flat blade screwdriver and the torx 20 if you want to drop that little panel on the driver's side i do recommend because it'll save you from breaking the unit or damaging because they are quite tight in there so i do recommend doing that uh, apart from that i think the most difficult one is probably the rear um, sit one it is hard to get to that clip but hopefully my video did help you to see what you actually have to do before you actually snap the whole thing uh, because my first one was a bit of a hard work to do but anyway it's all done now uh, the other thing i was going to say so yeah you're going to need five 501 bulbs the led ones obviously they're in the kit you're going to need three c5w the festoon ones 36 millimeter ones and you're going to need one 44 millimeter one which is for the boot unless you obviously want to replace the whole unit, it's up to you. But yeah, don't forget to check out all the colors that you got. 
and don't forget obviously to check out all the rest of the stuff that you got on the website the discount code works on everything that you got on the website the cart mode shop uh, a discount code is in the description below the link for all the bulbs and everything else is also in the description below do have a look and yeah guys you can share it with your friends as well they got different cars not just the Scirocco uh, mainly the VAG group cars got the same kit I would say most of them are pretty similar on my Audi A3 and the Golfs that I had and Tiguan and Audi Q3 that I had as well uh, they're very similar bulbs and they're pretty much the same to do as well so yeah do check it out and in the future like I said we'll have the headlight bulb kits as well and the rear kits as well so do stay tuned for that and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video again thank you very much James from Car Mode Shop for providing us with such a great product uh, so thank you very much for that and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.